Welcome back, everybody. It's Joyce and Lena, and we are playing Siberia today. We are somewhere in a college, and I can't remember the name of the college. Um, University, I should say. Pardonnez-moi. Uh, and we are looking for a way to keep the train from moving. And we've been summoned by the regents. Uh, we have birds that we need to get rid of so we can access a library. We need uh, to make sure that a um, lock is open so that a barge can come through and pull our train. So we've got a little bit of work to do and a little bit of exploring to do. Um, yeah, so coming, oh, who's this? He was not on here. We were looking at books or maybe we were looking at books over on the other side. So who's this gentleman? Hello. Shh, don't talk so loud. I'm sorry, but I was wondering if you could help me. Can't you see I'm very busy? What are you looking for? None of your business. Now, if you don't mind, I am trying to concentrate. I haven't got a lot of time left before Professor Pons's next tutorial. Professor Pons, you say? Would you mind working elsewhere, please? Okay. So he's not going to help us unless we get Professor Pons to do something, apparently. So we have lots of looking around to do. We have just started in this place, and it seems like it is huge. And I can't even remember how we got in or out. Huh. Looking for things to click on. Nothing here. So just way more library. Lots of books. encyclopedias that aren't getting used anymore. This is so early 2000s. Like, you actually had books in a library. Okay, so what's back out here? We can take a look at more of the um, skeletons. Oh yeah, we were already here. Was there anything past the library? So that is a library. What's back over here? Uh, another door. Can we get in this door? Or is it locked? Oh, it's not. Okay. Oh, the regents. Ta-da! Here I am. Good day to you, gentlemen. Tell me, young lady, to what do we owe this pleasure? Please do be brief. We do not have very much time on our hands. As rectors of this university, we have serious matters to attend to, and our time is precious. You summoned me. I have heard you wish to meet the owner of the train that is currently in your station. May I know the reason for your summons? We are surprised that your train has not yet left, miss. The situation is most regrettable. The rules do clearly state that trains are meant to come and go and not remain stationary at a platform. Train should first stop, then subsequently leave. That is the rule. We agree then, dear colleagues, that what we're dealing with is deviant behavior. This matter really is cause for concern. It's a clockwork train, you see? So it needs winding up again? Unfortunately, there is no equipment in the station to do this. A clockwork train? That's strange. Is oh, it how very it? quaint. You mean it's some sort of mechanical toy? You are causing a hindrance to us, Miss... I am very hopeful that I will find what I need along the wall. The wall? Uh, miss, that really is not a suitable place for you to go. Especially for a young lady. You see, Miss, we freely admit that every day we praise the existence of that particular edifice. We owe the integrity of our dear university and the fine education it provides to the wall. It protects us from harm and invasion from the unknown. May God protect us from what is beyond those ramparts, miss. Please believe me. I don't have any choice. I must continue my journey. Uh, such a decision is a correct one since it's in line with regulations. Thus, your train will indeed be able to leave. And consequently cease to obstruct our station. Okay, so, money. Oh yeah, I need a hundred bucks. Some sailors have agreed to tow the train. But I don't have enough money to pay them. I was wondering if you could help me out. For a while. 
I could work for the money. Please wait, miss. We have certain confibulations to attend to. That is right. We must confibulate between ourselves. A collegiate decision must be taken. I hope that we are not indisposing you in any way. <clears throat> Why not? If it helps us get rid of that train. My word, that is a fine idea. What do you have in mind, gentlemen? Okay, what's our hmm. next task? When you arrived here, you must have noticed a splendid bandstand which honors the main university ah, courtyard. Yes. I need the egg. A unique piece of mechanical craftsmanship which no longer works, alas. Why, yes, we have very moving memories of its melodies. We're prepared to offer you a financial reward if you can set it working again. With pleasure. What do I have to do? Unfortunately, my dear, time and rust have taken their toll on this university, and our automatons no longer have a spring in their step. <laughs> you are going to have to be resourceful. To tell you the truth, there are a number of complex mechanisms here in Barakstadt. And it would appear that we have unfortunately lost their operating instructions. Hmm. Your train, however, is an extremely ingenious invention, so you should be no stranger to complex mechanisms, should you? Uh, we are therefore counting on your ingenuity, miss. I hope that I can show myself worthy of your faith in me, gentlemen. Okay. Well, my dear colleagues, one more university matter nicely tied up. Okay, so Sauvignon. You wouldn't know if there is any forest Sauvignon here in Barakstadt, would you? Absolutely. <clears throat> when he says absolutely, he means, of course, absolutely none. Huh. What we mean, of course, is that we are absolutely positive there is no forest Sauvignon here in Barakstadt. Really? Are you sure? Because I read in a book that Barakstadt possesses a number of plants. I wouldn't mind getting a hold of some, if possible. Out of the question, miss! The assistant rector means to say that our priority is for you to remove your train from our station. Your research will have to wait until your next stop. Yes, that's right. Y your train must leave the station immediately, so please refrain from wasting our time in needless visitations. Don't forget the regulations, miss. Don't forget them. Trains should first stop, then subsequently leave. And quickly! Hmm. Okay, but the birds are keeping me that from doing that. idea of the station aviary is really very original. It's the pride of our university. One of the specialties taught here is zoology, you see, and more particularly, ornithology. Proper study and instruction should not be limited to books. Observation of living matter is indissociable from theoretical questions. It contains some very rare specimens that have been brought back from far away exotic countries especially for our university, by the world's most intrepid explorers. Do you remember Alexander Valembois hmm. and his peculiar bird? Absolutely. His gift produced some very embarrassing long-term consequences. A poison chalice, indeed. It must be said, the situation could have been much worse, however. Oh, yes, it could have been terribly problematic. Okay. Uh, train. Excuse me. They're just gonna want to tell me. Leave find it. ourselves terribly Get it out of put here. out by the presence of your train in our station and by its recurrent immobility. Indeed, the situation is very regrettable. Your huge locomotive is very cumbersome. A train should first stop, then subsequently leave. That is the rule. Uh, yeah, you've mentioned that before. What about Hans? Does the name Hans Vorlberg mean anything to you by chance? Ah, one of the brightest, most idealistic intellects to have graced our university. Hans Vorlberg. I remember speaking to him once. I was still a student at the time. He just stared at me, lost in thought for a while. He scarcely ever said a word. But how can one forget him? Idealistic? I'll grant you that. But bright? Oh, don't go too far. He was completely incapable of passing any exams. All he ever did was to sit in on lessons, and not many of them either. Paleontology, mainly. He had an unhealthy passion for mammoths, which matched the state of his intellect perfectly. That is to say, prehistoric. Well, that's not prehistoric. Very nice. How 
dare you. A little far-fetched, maybe. But he did have flashes of intellectual brilliance, comprehensible only to high-minded scholars who hold no score by appearances. My dear colleague, your hasty conclusions are somewhat cavalier. My assessment is wholly accurate. The boy was a little odd. You must concur if my father, who was rector of the university at the time, had not shown great indulgence towards him. Hans Vorlberg would have never attended this establishment. What about the bandstand, then? Is that the work of a deranged mind? Even after all these years, you are still jealous of it. My dear colleagues, I beseech you. Let's show some decorum. We have a visitor. Uh, what do you want with Hans Vorlberg, miss? Uh, are you a member of his family? No, no, not at all. I'm looking for him to clear up an inheritance matter. Is he still here? What? <laughs> Here? At the university? <laughs> no, not at all. He left a long time ago. Yes, a very long time ago. The very year I was nominated to this position, in fact. Almost 50 years ago already. The poor soul moved on once he learned all he needed to know about mammoths. Ah, this establishment was never quite the same after his departure, it must be said. You mean to say it was never as bad? All that Oddball brought to this university was his misplaced fantasies. Gentlemen, gentlemen, let's try to retain the calm and level-headedness that befits our position. Okay, so can they help me with anything else? Can you possibly help me out here? Miss, your insistence is almost verging on indecency. We cannot constantly be at your disposal. We have many other requests to attend to. Yeah, I can see the long if line of people. If you don't mind, could you not disturb us all the time? Thank you. Hmm. Okay, my main mission. Could I possibly leave the train in the station for one more day? Out of the question. Trains should first stop, then subsequently leave. That is the rule. Perform the task we agreed on quickly, and we will pay you on completion. A deal is a deal. Uh, and I, I haven't think... introduced myself. My yeah, name probably is Kate should have Walker. been the first thing we did. Walker, Walker, haven't we already had a Miss Walker? Ethnology Masters, September 1953, if my memory serves me correctly. Perfectly well, my dear colleague. But if I may be so bold, it was a Mr. Walker and not a Miss. It was Bill Walker, sat this June 68 exams. The impudent fool turned up for the oral assessment in jeans, flouting strict internal regulations which explicitly state the required uniform for the occasion. Pure incitement. It was scandalous. Sadly, we have seen worse since. Young people lack all respect of traditional values. Tradition, young lady. One must always uphold tradition. Okay, I'm out of here. Here we are, busy chat-chatting, and look at the clock. It's tea time. Already? My word, doesn't time fly by? Thank you for a charming visit, miss. I and was thank not you, gentlemen. Charmed. Okay, I need my hundred bucks. What were we supposed to do again? I can't even remember. Okay, down we go. Well, we're just going to peruse everything, so... Through the regent's door. And... I'll have to figure something out. Can I do anything over here? Oh, no, 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 Kate, I don't want you to do that. Okay, good. Can't do anything with these guys. What's over here? Was this the library? Yes. And then to the mammoth, because that's the library. Oh, other way. You walk there. And walk here. And now we'll go to the other side here before we go up the steps. Some grandiose music. Oh, someone to talk to. Run. Excuse me. Sir, please, just a moment. Yes, what is it? I'm not deaf, you know. I yeah, am sorry to disturb you in your work, sir, but... This young mammoth is primigenius is barely 40,000 years old. Fantastic, wouldn't you say, miss? Uh, yes. Probably. What do you mean, probably? Uh, 
I don't know. You don't know? Well, you, you don't know, I see. What can I do for you, my dear child? Okay. First of all, I'll leave you in peace. Sorry? No. Um. Um. We gotta turn down this music. Options. Yeah, I mean, it's down pretty low as it is. There, take that music. I got people to talk to. Whoops. Go back. Return to game. There we go. Ah. Uh, okay, Do we'll talk to you again. excuse me, Professor. Oh, are professor? you the professor who Sorry I'm to disturb to talk you to? again. What is it you want to know, miss? My name's Kate. To tell you the truth, I don't know very much about mammoths, and I'm not here as a student. In fact, I'm a lawyer. It's all right. Nobody is perfect. All the same, the study of the Pleistocene period is fascinating. I'm sure it is. But I'm sorry to say my current mission is totally monopolizing my time. Um, another time, maybe. Ah, oh, that's what they all say. But anyway, let me present myself. I am Cornelius Ponce, okay, Emeritus Professor, Ponce. Professor and Lecturer at the University of Barockstadt. I'm proud to say that I'm head of the Department of Paleozoology at our university. Kate Walker, pleased to meet you. Okay, so let's ask I feel for help. I've lost my way a little here. I could really do with your help. Oh, my dear child, you've chosen your moment. I absolutely must finish off my lecture for this afternoon. It's a lecture about mammoths? Oh, yes and no. More specifically, it is about their migration. Do excuse me, I need to concentrate. Okay, you'll let me ask my other questions, though, right? To Hans. tell you the truth, you must know I'm looking for Mr. Hans Vorlberg. He's the sole heir of a very unusual factory. My company is in charge of negotiations for the takeover of this factory. Uh, at last word, he was living in Siberia. So, as soon as my train is ready, I'll be continuing my journey eastwards. Siberia. Ah, Siberia. But what was it you said again? Said what? You mentioned a name. The person you are looking for. Vorlberg. Hans Vorlberg. Do you know him? Hans Vorlberg. How could I forget him? Such an extraordinary fellow. So inventive. We shared a passion for mammoths, you know. And we bonded over this passion. Without it, I confess, I would have had little to do with an odd, ageless retard like Hans. At the time, we were both students. Well, sort of. Put it this way. Hans had special permission to attend paleontology lectures. You see, he didn't really have the necessary qualifications. In exchange, Hans did a few odd jobs around the university. Your Hans Vorlberg sounds uncannily like the one I'm looking for. I'm not sure, my dear. Hans was above all questions of money and business. Just to imagine him running a factory, <laughs> perish the thought. Can you tell me a little bit more That's about why him? He left. He was always a mystery to me. He never said very much, and never quite seemed to grasp what you said to him. He expressed himself instead through his incredible mechanical contraptions. His inventions, I admit, have been much appreciated by the university. The few times we really did talk, it was about his strange interest for mammoths and a doll. Some sort of doll that obsessed him. I had that doll. Doll, you say? Yes. He kept talking about it. One day he described it to me. A sort of children's toy. A miniature mammoth mounted by a mount. It appears he found it in a cave not far from his home. The event all sounds very dramatic. His account was slightly confused, but it awoke a great interest in me. It's all What true. do you mean? To my knowledge, there was only one tribe who made figurines featuring a mouth, and that tribe is the Yukols. They live in the farthest reaches of Siberia, and mm. for them, the dolls constituted a sacred object, illustrating one of their central legends, how such a doll made the journey from the frozen Siberian north to a cave in the French Alps is a mystery to me. Even today, it is beyond my comprehension. Have you considered that Hans Varlberg was maybe making it up? You said yourself he didn't seem to have all you, his you have mental facilities intact. No, that's impossible. 
Hans couldn't invent the story like that. You've seen the, the cave. It's a sacred cave. part of the Siberia legend. He described it to me in exact detail. Siberia itself is a chimera that paleontologists of the world are very fond of pursuing. Good grief. I don't I don't get you, Kate. You you actually have the doll. You've seen the caves where Hans found the doll. Uh okay. Train. Arriving in Barakstadt is an amazing experience. I've never seen such a station. Uh, you came by train? Yes, in a kind of clockwork train with a spring mechanism that winds down. Regularly. By... Huh. You mean you drive a train? Young ladies of today never cease to amaze me. Oh, no. I'm not the engineer. The train's engineer is actually an automaton. I am sorry. All this probably sounds very strange. A clockwork train driven by an automaton. I once knew a man long ago who could have invented such yeah, a train. Yeah, we just talked it was about him. who designed the bandstand in the main square. Ah, uh, to think that he was even capable of creating such a gadget. He was astounding, a true genius. But oddly, at the same time, he was also almost a child. It was as if his mental and physical evolution had definitively halted at the age of it 10. It came to a crashing end. That? At about uh, the age of yes. 10. Yes. I think I can believe that. At least I'm beginning to. You've seen the signs, Kate. How can you not believe? My train stopped in a peculiar aviary. It's very odd. A lot of bird species seem to seek harbor there. Ornithology is far from being my favorite subject, but I must concede that the station is the pride of the university. It was initially intended for teaching purposes, but then birds started arriving from all around the world. <laughs> it seems that there are still rare species breeding there and flourishing. Are there? Can you give me an example? Mm -hmm. I have been told about a kind of bird with peculiar habits. Let's see now, the, uh, the Amazon cuckoo, that's right. But, uh, oh, I'm so foolish, I can't remember what was so special about it. Just that its behavior is very peculiar. The Amazon? Where's the Amazon? What is the Amazon? I'm sorry, my dear, but one cannot learn everything in a lifetime. Specialization is the key to real knowledge. Why don't you pay a visit to our library? I did all right. Thank you very much. You have all the facts. It's in the books. We've already read them. If I were to say okay, we quickly Forest Sauvignon them, I to you, say. what would you say? Oh, let's see. Sauvignon. Sauvignon? I would say it's some kind of tropical shrub, don't you think? We are talking about the same plant, then. It is a very rare shrub with small, juicy fruits. I found a book about the Amazon, and it says that there are even Sauvignon plants growing right here in Barakstadt. You wouldn't know where, would you? Mm, Amazon Sauvignon plants here? No. No, I don't think there are any. Hardly implausible. But uh, you should ask the station master. Station he master? He's keeper of the greenhouse at our university, so he could tell you more than me. May I, so I have to oh. go back to him? Thanks very much. And say, so tell me about the Sauvignon plants. Uh, Money. Professor, uh, how do I say this? You see, I didn't think I'd need a lot of money when I set out. And it turns out I need money after all. It's a delicate matter, I know, but I was wondering if You're gonna you could ask help him me for out. Money? My dear, it would be a pleasure. But you see, I barely have enough myself to cover my meager expenditure on what I'm paid by the university. Because nobody attends there anymore. I, I didn't Because no more trains come to or... the station. However, if we look at the example of Hans, it is true that our university always rewards people who perform some service for it. This is our dear rector's jurisdiction, however. Yes, we just need to fix the bandstand. Uh, and that's my Please mission. Please do excuse my persistence, Professor. But did Hans Varlberg ever talk about his childhood? About Valadilene? And his sister, Anna. No, not that I recall. Hmm, pity. When I think of Hans, I'm always reminded of a mysterious mammoth doll he would talk about. Yes, so we often. had a conversation Small about the doll effigy already. of a mammoth made of hide and mounted with its own miniature mouth. Uh, how come he was so lucky? Why have I not seen this? I've got it. Want me to go get it? Do I need to go get it? I'll leave you in peace. Maybe I need I to... I hope I haven't disturbed you too much. 
Give it to him. Sorry? No, 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 not at all, my dear child. Hmm. I wonder if I can do that. Okay, so what's over here? We have another door. Where does this lead to? It's locked. No point. It's locked. Okay, so this is some place we'll have to come back to. Maybe once we give him the doll, we can go through there. That is my suspicion. Okay, so this is a door. Let's see if we can go through here. What's through here? No point. It's, it's locked, locked too. Okay. Well, let's finish checking out in here because we still need to go up the stairs past the mammoth. And I can't remember from the last episode if we clicked on the mammoth or not. So let's click on the mammoth, see what she has to say. Oh, I guess that's just how we get to the stairs. Okay. I would think she would make some type of comment. And then up again. Now where are we going? Looks like a lecture hall. Oh. No, 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 no. Ugh. Do I have to go down the stairs before I can talk to that guy? Okay, so we'll come down here. He's looking up at the big sky through the dome. Hmm. Now, he or she is not there. Anywhere to go? Nowhere to go. Oh, what's this? Can I click on it? Or is that just a way out? Huh. Oh, I wonder if it's when the professor gives his lecture about the mammoths, we'll come here. That must be it. No point. It's locked. Okay. So we have been everywhere that we can go. We'll run back. And down the stairs. Now what's interesting is the way they've created this, this goes around into a door. But if you look here, it looks like the staircase should go around both ways, right? So where does this go? Oh, it's locked off. Oh, I can't go that way. Okay. So back out here. I already talked to the creepoid. Oh, phone call. Hello? So, you got him then, this air? Ah, it's you, Mr. Marson. Good day, and, and how are you, sir? I'll feel a whole lot better when this whole business is over and the sales contract is signed. Where the hell are you? I'm in Barakstadt. What? What in God's name are you doing there? It's a magnificent university town. It would appear Hans Varlberg once passed by here several years ago. So if he isn't there anymore, then there's no point hanging around. I hear what you're saying, sir. But I have good reason to believe that Hans Varlberg is still alive. For the time being, I'm trying to gather extra information from people who have known him. What's your next destination? I'm not exactly sure, yet. Doesn't sound like you know too much, Kate. I just need a bit of time, Mr. Marson. Yeah, well, time is what you ain't got. Keep me posted. Well, no one else is going to be able to do this for you, so I guess, actually, I have as all the time that I need to accomplish the goal, Mr. Marson. Okay. Off we go. So I need an egg. The birds probably have an egg up in their nest. So I think we need to head back to the aviary aviary area. That would be the word I was trying to use. Uh, so back inside the train station. And I'm interested is if I get the doll and take it to Professor Pond. Um, 
what his thoughts will be about that. But I want to make sure I have it back because the train won't be able to leave if I don't have the, um, the doll. Okay, so let's go back to the train and get that. She's so careful up the steps. Okay, in you go. Hi, Oscar. Everything okay, Oscar? Yes, Kate Walker. I am awaiting your instructions. Yeah, I haven't gotten none. Uh, oh, I can ask you questions? Uh, what about the bird? You should take a look around the station, Oscar. It's amazing. Greenhouses that are all lit up, exotic trees, and thousands of birds of all different colors. I am obliged to avoid exposing my wheelwork to corrosive bird excreta. I shall remain inside to monitor the locomotive. Of course. Well, too bad for you. Okay, Sauvignon. You don't know where I might find any Amazon forest Sauvignon, do you? No, Kate Walker. Well, it was worth a try. You Oscar, got anybody? The sailors have agreed to tow the train, but they want to get paid for it. I suppose you have some petty cash on board to cover traveling costs? No, there is nothing like that. You will note, however, Kate Walker, that every effort has been made to ensure maximum passenger comfort. Okie dokie. I'll have to sort this one out by myself then. Yep, you're gonna have to fix the bandstand. Okay, off we go. Oscar, see you later, alligator. In a while, Kate Walker. Okay, come this way. Let's get the mammoth, see if we can pick it up and show it. Yep, okay, I can. Show it to Professor Pons. Is there anything else in here? Da -da. With my luggage. No point weighing myself down. Okay, well, why do you have luggage that I can click on if you're not going to actually access it? Okay. Off we go, back to the professor. Oh, let's talk to the station master guy first. While we were here, was he, he was over here, and I think he was to the back, right? I don't recall. It's been a while. I think he was back this way. I bet you the forest stuff is back there. Okay, Let's ask him about the Sauvignon. I'm sorry to disturb you. What can I do for you, miss? Yes, well, first about the birds. All these birds in a station. I think we already it's did amazing. this discussion with him. There's no ordinary station, miss. Oh, no. These birds are part of the prestigious University of Baruchstadt Ornithological Collection. Over the years, this easy area has housed some of the most fantastic species from all over the world. And I am not exactly their typical station master either. This is the world's my responsibility, and that is no easy task. Now, I've not I found can well believe the you. eagle that we're supposed you know, to what's the hardest? Fix. The hardest thing is to keep interspecial harmony. And one day some explorer introduced a couple of cuckoos from the am. Yeah, it wasn't a good idea. Night. I see what you mean. The faculty declared the bird unprotected. You have an automaton here? A wonder of technology. Where is it? It's an eagle that's mounted on a tree. Oh, in the, in the air. air. So I need to get those little birds to move. down to collect parasite eggs, but heck, the dang eagle's been out of order for several years. Impossible to collect the eggs myself. Why not? I, uh, I can't climb up the gangway. I fell off it several months back, and I still have a pain in my spine. Mm. Not to mention the vertigo I've been getting. I only, only have to look up in the air. Oh. You poor soul. That must be very hard. Okay. Worst thing is, cuckoo eggs are piling up in the nest. Soon the erectors are gonna notice. There's trouble in store. I need trouble. Yeah, I need to find some of those eggs. Uh, Sauvignon. Where might I find some forest Sauvignon plants, please? No place around here, that's for sure. I don't know what you're talking about. That stuff's from the Amazon. <laughs> you know, 
For someone who knows nothing about the plant, you seem pretty well informed about which mysterious faraway country it comes from. Oh, I'm Amazon, Peru, Papua, New Guinea. It's all the same to me. Gotta go. Gotta work. Oh, and off he goes. Wait, don't go. You know what? I don't think he was being totally straight with me. No, I don't either. Clearly. Shall we follow him? Oh, right, Kate. Where'd he go? So... The plant must be somewhere in here then. And I'm gonna guess, let's see if it's over here somewhere. Since that's where most of the plants are. Oh. Um, this way first. Is it anywhere in here? This is where I would suppose it would be. So this is the way to the back. Or it's back here, and I don't know how to get this unlocked. Well, you know, I'm going to think about this. We've been playing for a little bit over half an hour now. So um, with that, let's wrap it up, and we will come back and try to figure out how to get to, uh, to the Amazonian tropical plant and how to find the birds and help um, get the golden egg that I need for the bandstand, get my money, get towed. There's still a lot to do, and I don't know how to accomplish it. So I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.